Hello Divine Feminine, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. So today we're going to get into some lovely messages for you. I will be doing general love as well as career energy. So I'm going to jump right into it. The description box will have the timestamps for the love and career messages. So let's go ahead and jump right into your general with some overall energy. Spirit, give me some overall energy for the Divine Feminine. Remember that these messages are general, so not everything is going to resonate. Just take what does, you know. Apply it to your life and leave the rest. Spirit, give me some overall energy for the Divine Feminine. Okay. I have courage. It says, Divine Courage is not the absence of fear. But a nudge that says, keep going, do it, don't worry, all will be well. You have to get quiet enough to hear it. Dear Divine, may I feel your courage and your will. I heard comfort zone. So Divine Feminine, God is asking for you to step outside of your comfort zone to trust yourself more. And then next we have body. Show me, Divine, how to love. And fully care for this body. Please give me the radiant miracle of accepting my body as it is. So your self-acceptance, confidence, loving the skin that you're in. Um, I'm getting a makeover. I heard mommy makeover. So for someone, you may be getting a mommy makeover. Or this is something you're thinking about. <clears throat> and at the bottom of the deck, I have calmness. The inner divine is the witness of all, remaining still and quiet, even during intense turbulence. So take a deep breath and then say, quiet my mind, dear Lord. May your peaceful calm take over me. So calmness is calmness in the midst of a storm. For some of you, you're going through a storm. I'm getting like a rough patch, a difficult season. But pray for peace. Pray for calmness. Ask God to keep you balanced as you go through and tackle these issues. Let's go ahead and pull some more energies for you. Spirit, give me some more energies for the Divine Feminine. I heard traitor. So for some of you, there is a traitor in the camp. I feel like somebody tried to betray you. And I heard like walk away. I feel like you had the courage or you will be having the courage to walk away from the situation. I'm getting the eight of cups. I have bad health. Let's get some more messages. Traitor. Someone is a traitor, divine feminine. Official person. Someone isn't who they portray themselves to be. Somebody lying. Somebody don't have it together like that. They just don't got it like that, Divine Feminine. Let's get another message. Someone could be sick at this time. I heard parental figure, so this could be a parent for some of you. Spirit, give me another message. Yeah, I have concern. Um, yeah, somebody's definitely going through some major challenges and issues. Um, for some of you, this has to do with a relative, a family member. At the bottom of the deck, I have wealthy man. Some of you could definitely be concerned about your finances or a connection. I heard like upheaval. I feel like there's just something that came and just really knocked you off your feet. You were not expecting for this to take place. Tower. Yes, yeah, Spirit says the tower came. And Spirit says people started to fall. So this tower that came into your life, Divine Feminine, it was meant. Because I felt like some of you were still holding on to certain people, situations that it was time for you to release. But it's like you kept making excuses to still stay there, to still remain in a toxic relationship, to still remain at that job, to still keep those same friends, to still continue speaking to those same family members. So the tower had to come and move everything out of the way, clear the scene. Let's clarify bad health.
Where do I have <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune? Okay, so her parent again. Your parent's health is going to turn around. It's going to turn around. Um, I'm getting um, diabetes. I also heard a heart attack. Spirit clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Spirit says their health is going to turn around for the good, for the better. I feel like somebody's worried about a parent. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Things are going to turn around. I have the Three of Cups. Okay, so somebody could have been partying a lot. <laughs> you know, doing some low vibrational things with this Three of Cups. And somebody may have gotten some karma. I heard a car accident. Someone may have recently gotten involved in a car accident. I'm hearing drinking and driving. Spirit, tell me about the Three of Cups in the reverse. Somebody's going to have to have the courage, the strength to pull through this. I heard like somebody's all beat up and bruised. I heard a sling. Somebody's arm may be in a sling. I heard the right arm. I have the page of wands in the reverse and the three of pentacles. So somebody may like to hang out with people that they work with, their co-workers, go out and party, um, you know, drink their sorrows away, have a little bit too much fun. Um, I heard like reflect. I'm hearing issues. So for some of you, there's someone, this could be you, Divine Feminine, that likes to use, you know, drinking as a way to deal with issues, um, to kind of um, submerge their emotions, repress. That's the word I'm looking for. Repress. Someone still, with this page of wands, I feel like someone still hasn't healed from their childhood issues and it's stopping them from really moving forward. I heard from grasping, like from grasping at life, for really having the things that they want. Let's get a message for this page of wands. What do I have? Three of wands. I feel like somebody's stuck. Some, for some of you, you're stuck reliving a past childhood trauma. Like, you can't move on from it. Like, you're still stuck. Let's say that this trauma took place at the age of 10. It's like there's still a part of you that's stuck being 10 years old. Like, you have not moved past that. You have not moved on from that situation. And therefore, you may engage in toxic behaviors you may drink a lot do substances i'm also getting promiscuity you may be promiscuous it's like you're using toxic coping skills in order to deal with your trauma let's get a message for the three of pentacles or this could be someone that's around you that's in your energy divine feminine spirit tell me about this three of pentacles <laughs> The Eight of Wands, okay. For some of you, you're going to be getting some good news about a job opportunity that's coming in, a collaboration. Somebody wants to collaborate with you. I'm getting social media. You do something on social media. There's definitely going to be some type of communication coming in concerning a collaboration. I heard workplace for some of you. I heard you got the job. Okay, congratulations, Divine Feminine. Someone is going to be finding out that they did get the job. They did get the promotion, Spirit says. Let's get a message for this will of fortune <laughs> okay so i have karmic balance <laughs> karmic balance i feel like going back to courage some of you stay strong through a very difficult and challenging situation with this five of ones people um try to come up against you i heard like petty people try to be petty like petty arguments petty disagreements but it's like you still you know did not let it phase you you didn't let it get you out of character i have the ace of swords in the reverse people lied on you people slandered you divine feminine and spirit says karmic balance i heard backfire so whatever somebody wished upon you it is backfiring i heard return to sender Yes, it is backfiring. Yeah, people try to slander you. But it's like you still remain strong. You didn't let it bother you. And it angered them even more that you were able to endure this. 
to, you know, endure the pressure or what they felt was pressure. But with this wheel of fortune, things are now turning in your favor. It's like you have came out of this storm, out of this situation unscathed. It has only made you stronger. So now with the wheel balancing, that means it's time for you to get justice. I have the five of cups in the reverse at the bottom. Yeah, you're no longer worried. About <laughs> you're moving past this situation, but these people haven't moved past you. I heard they still think about you. I heard from time to time they still think about you. Also, if you have a platform, I heard like they watch you on social media or a particular person likes to watch you on social media. Someone who lied. I heard slander. Yeah, but it's like you were able to get over it. You were able to overcome whatever it is that they threw at you. They threw darts, but none of them hit you. You were able to maneuver through whatever they tried to throw your way. Let's get a message for this official person. <laughs> the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so I'm getting challenges. For some of you, um, this official person is someone from your past that has betrayed you. This could be a boss. That's what I'm getting, a boss or a co-worker. Okay, Spirit, tell me about the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Spirit says all will be revealed. Spirit, tell me about the Ten of Swords. I'm getting the song, I Got Love on My Mind. So this person is thinking about you heavy. They know they did you wrong. <laughs> and they want to offer you some love. A cup of love, yes. This person wants to have a new beginning with you. Somebody who betrayed you, backstabbed you. They want to right or wrong. Um, with this body, I'm getting like this person is very attracted to you. And they think you're beautiful. I'm getting like the star card, Aquarius energy. Spirit, tell me about this page of cups. What do I have? The fool. Yeah, this is somebody who held back from you. This somebody who held back from you didn't take that leap of faith. You know, was too much in their head. Let's get a message for the fool. Trying to play it safe, but ended up missing out. I have the Knight of Cups. Ooh. Okay, Divine Feminine. For some of you, you're going to have two offers. You are going to have two offers. We have the page and the Knight of Cups. So one of these offers are going to be stronger than the other. One of these offers are going to be stronger than the other offer. Because somebody coming in, even though you know they're making you an offer, they're still immature. But then we have this knight riding in on this horse and saying, no, I can love you better. LL Cool J, I can love you better. I can treat you better. For some of you, this page is somebody from your past who hurt you, who kept you on hold, who kept you waiting. I heard ghosted for some of you. So, yeah, you have two offers coming in, Divine Feminine. I'm getting Chris Bender. Who will I choose? I don't know who you're going to choose, but choose wisely. And next we have Concern. I'm getting somebody's overthinking a situation with this concern. Yes, spirit say somebody thinking too much is too much. Yeah, <laughs> somebody's thinking too much. Spirit, tell me about concern. Ooh, the lovers in the reverse. Yeah, somebody's concerned about a relationship that may have ended, or somebody's thinking about ending a connection, overthinking it. Somebody want to walk away for some of you. This person could be a Gemini or you could be a Gemini. Tell me about the lovers. Ooh. 
All right, so I have the nine of swords in the reverse and the nine of wands in the reverse. So somebody is guarded. Somebody is very guarded. And somebody ain't really studying this person. Like, uh-uh. Been there and done that. I've already been through the stress, the drama. I'm done with it. Somebody guards is up. Somebody's like, I'm not even, <laughs> oh, I'm not going back. There's no need to worry about me, sir or ma'am, because I am not going back. Yeah. Somebody at her prison. Somebody could also be in prison. Or is about to go to prison. Tell me more about this nine of wands. Okay, yeah, Eight of Cups in the reverse. This is definitely somebody from your past. They want to come back. They want to reconcile. Knight of Swords, they coming in, you know, real quick, you know, trying to sweep you off your feet. They feel like time is running out, but you already know what it's about, so you ain't even trying to hear it. Divine Feminine, it's like a no-go for you. And then lastly, we have the wealthy man. Somebody got some money. I'm getting 10 of pentacles. This is somebody you can build with. I heard mature. This person is very mature. Um, for some of you, this is definitely somebody that's in their 40s. They have a business. They may, I heard attorney. They may practice law. Um, for some of you, like this is a businessman. I'm getting a dentist. I have the hierophant in the reverse. For some of you, this person could have recently got a divorce or just be a divorcee. Tell me more about the Hierophant and the reverse. <laughs> the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody who's just mainly focused on working. Like after they ended a very long-term relationship or gotten a divorce, they've just been working. I heard um, <laughs> you work hard for the money. Yeah. So this person has just really been focused on their career. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles. Or this could be you, Divine Feminine. I have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, this person is single. They've been happily single, just working. Spirit, tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles. I heard they have their eye on you. Okay, so this person watches you. This could be somebody that you work with. Yeah. This person definitely watches you. Okay. Oh, I have the Knight of Pentacles. And I have the Five of Pentacles. Oh, I'm getting, I'm lonely. So lonely. Um, This person wants to come in and make an offer. But like with this Five of Pentacles, they feel like you might reject them. They feel like you might reject them or you might be a little bit like pessimistic when it comes to relationships. It's like I'm just looking how she got her back turned. It's like, yeah, you're really not open to being with anyone at this time. This person feels like you come off as being kind of cold with this Five of Pentacles energy. But they definitely want to step forward and make you some type of offer, Divine Feminine. Spirit, give me a message for this Five of Pentacles. make this up i cannot divine feminine seven of wands you come off guarded like you be on an attack like what you looking at why are you staring at me like that like yeah this person feels like you're gonna be rude you're gonna reject them but they definitely want to come forward so divine feminine you just may want to work on the type of energy that you give out unless you really don't want to be bothered and don't want a relationship but if you do then you know kind of you know work on your energy a little bit you know let this person know that you know you are available if you are attracted to this person so let's pull some final messages for you spirit give me some final messages for the divine feminine Final messages for the Divine Feminine. Yeah, I keep getting, um, he, he work hard for the money. She work hard for the money. Somebody work hard for the money. Somebody is a boss, boss. 
status. Spirit, give me some final messages. Okay. Oh, I tune out negative people and thoughts. Yeah, sometimes you have to block it out, especially these people who don't mean you any well, who trying to be in competition with you, trying to, you know, stop you. Yeah. Stop your growth. They don't like it because, you know, they ain't you. You have to just block it all out. The naysayers, you just have to block it all out. And I'm also getting self-defeating thoughts. Spirit says, um, tell yourself something positive. So Spirit really wants you to um, speak into yourself positivity. Listen to positive affirmations, Divine Feminine. Let positivity literally be you. Or be inside of you. I have, I am supported. So just know whatever direction that you're taking in life, you are supported. You're angels. You got the angel wings on. Your angels are guiding you. You are supported. And again, just going back to I told my negative thoughts, like don't worry about what anybody say. Like God got you. God got you. If don't nobody else got you, as long as God got you, that's all that matters. You can, everybody in the world can hate you. As long as God's on your side, then who can really be against you? You got the man with the master plan rooting for you, guiding you, supporting you. Let's pull one more message. I heard like business, business, business opportunity. Spirit say start that business. Spirit say start that closing line. Yes. Somebody like the color blue, like light blue, like a baby blue. That's what I'm seeing. Spirit, give me one more message for the divine feminine. Okay, what do I have? <laughs> I'm a creator. Yeah, go ahead and start that business. You are a creator. You can have whatever you want. Empress energy. You are an empress. You are an empress. Very well balanced. I'm also getting show the world the real you. Show the world the real you. Show the world just how amazing you are. Just how creative you are, divine feminine. Like, don't hold back. Like, don't dim your light for anybody. You are meant to shine. You are meant to stand out. So Divine Feminine, these are your general messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself, real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed. Hello Divine Feminine, welcome to the love portion of your reading. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into it and see what messages Spirit has for you. So Spirit, okay, you know, God is just ready today. I have the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Let's get another message. Messages for the Divine Feminine. I have the Seven of Swords. Okay, I feel like somebody released the relationship. Like somebody just let it go. Say, I'm tired of carrying these wands. I'm tired of being stressed out, burdened. After a truth came out, it was just like it truly set you free, Divine Feminine. Okay, I have the Knight of Pentacles. I have like stable offer. I feel like somebody wants to make you a stable offer. Somebody wants stability with you. Can't make it up with the Six of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles, this person see you in a bag or in your bag, I should say. Maybe they want to get in your bag. I'm just playing. But um, yeah, you're definitely doing the thing, Divine Feminine. I feel like you're very successful, very well grounded. This person sees that. They feel like they can have stability with you. They want to come in and make you an offer. I'm also getting somebody also wants to balance things out with you. Somebody from your past. They want to come in, Six of Pentacles, and offer you that equal reciprocity that they didn't give you before let's pull one more message okay spirit says two more okay so i got this queen of wands in the reverse and a page of swords in the reverse okay so i feel like with this queen of wands there's somebody who you know um is very toxic 
I feel like it's somebody that try to use like sex or their looks to get what they want. Um, I heard I get around. So yeah, this person um, most definitely may, may be very promiscuous. Let's go ahead and clarify these messages. As soon as I find my deck that I want to use, we can clarify the messages. Divine Feminine. I should have been more ready for this, huh? Uh, um, okay, so I guess I'll just use this deck right here. Let's get into it. Spirit, give me a message for the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Oh, there it is. Look at God. Found the deck that I want to use. Or that I'm being called to use. Oh, right. All right, let's get this Ten of Wands message. Spirit, give me a message for the Ten of Wands. All right, what do I have? Attraction, chemistry, flirting, swag. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, you found out that your person um, was seeing somebody else with this attraction. Um, I'm getting like, I don't want to be a player no more. So this person was definitely in a player energy. I feel like this person also was very attractive, got a lot of attention, a lot of suitors, you know, um, men and women were just easily drawn to them. And I heard like bait. Yeah, they definitely took the bait. Um, they definitely gave in to the pressure. Spirit, give me a message for the seven of swords in the reverse. Okay, ooh, truth is, can't make it up. Confessions, reality check, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Truth is, the truth came out. The truth came out. The truth was revealed about this person and their antics. Let's get a message for the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, what do I have? Oh, dating, getting to know someone, having fun. Yes, this person definitely want to ask you out. They want to start very slow. This is not somebody that's going to move very fast. They're going to really take their time, get to know you. I heard like appreciate as well. This is somebody who will really appreciate spending time with you. Um, who will let you know that you are truly valued. This is not somebody who's going to rush into things, especially when it comes to intimacy. Because, see, this person is looking for more than just an intimate connection. I'm getting mine. So, Spirit says, like, this person is looking for a meeting of the minds as well. Spirit, tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Ooh. Oh, wow. So I have <laughs> Twin Flame, Runner, Chaser, Triggers, Intense, Past, Connection. So for some of you, this is a Twin Flame relationship. I'm also getting opposites of track and I have healing. So yeah, Divine Feminine, somebody's coming back to heal a connection with you. They want to offer you what they didn't give you in the past. It's like your twin was not ready for a relationship. Um, I'm also getting triggered. I feel like this person also triggered you a lot. I'm getting infidelity. So there was de definitely a third party situation for some of you. I'm also getting a lot of arguments and disagreements. I heard like, can we all just get along? But they want to heal. They want to amend the situation. Clarifying the Queen of Pentacles is karmic partner. Triggers, time for growth, ways, behavior, toxic. Oh, 
the divine feminine i'm getting with this queen of pentacles and this karmic partner in the past you were connected to somebody who was a karmic very toxic unhealthy relationship but you learned a lot from this connection you grew you truly evolved from this relationship this person taught you a lot about yourself it was hard to go through you were heartbroken you was frustrated, but it's like this person helped you. Like your experience with this person helped you become this queen of pentacles. Helped you really boss up and understand your worth. Let's get a message for queen of wands in reverse. I have hurting, emotional baggage, resentment, pain, and I have a boss, provider, protector, good sex. Swag, attentive, loyal. Yeah, going back to good sex. Queen of Wands in reverse. That's all this energy has to offer. Um, With this hurting, I'm getting like this Queen of Wands in the reverse. I'm also hearing like she lashed out because she's hurt. She's been hurt so much. She's been disappointed. And so she uses that pain. Um... Well, I should say she numbs that pain by doing things that are very low vibrational. Let's get a message for the page of wands. But um, I heard husband. I feel like I'm getting a secretary. Okay, so this queen of wands in reverse likes to date married men. I heard be on the lookout. Spirit, tell me about the page of swords in the reverse. A surprise, something being hidden, just chill. Okay, somebody's hiding a child. Somebody's being dishonest about a child being theirs, possibly being theirs. Let's clarify further. Spirit, tell me more about attraction. I don't know why I'm getting with this Queen of Pentacles and this Queen of Wands in reverse. I'm getting like a sisterhood. I'm getting like um, you're meant to t be a teacher to somebody. Like you're meant to lead somebody out of darkness and into the light, Divine Feminine. Spirit, tell me about attraction. <laughs> All right, the Two of Wands. Okay, so for some of you, this person could live at a distance. Um, this person watches you online. You may meet this person through social media. Um, I feel like with this Ten of Wands, you have, you know, let go of a hard relationship. So you are no longer holding on to anything that stagnates you. And it's like you're looking out for towards brighter horizons. Um, I feel like some of you are going to end up meeting someone new while you are traveling but you are also getting a lot of online attention. I'm hearing inbox as well. People find you very attractive. You um are in a very go-getter energy and people see that like you're like a boss. Entrepreneur. For some of you, you may have recently purchased your new home and posted it on social media. Got a lot of likes. I'm also getting dislike. I heard in silence, so there are people that dislike, you know, your progress, but that comes with the territory. But I getting I choose you, but there's something about you that this person is going to see that is very different from other people. You're going to stand out. This person is going to see that you are different. I'm getting natural. For some of you, you may be natural. You may not wear any makeup. But this person is going to be highly attracted to you. It's like now that you have freed yourself, you have made room for something brand new. I'm also getting this person who betrayed you, um, whoever they had you in a third party with. They met this person online. This person is younger. I'm getting like in her 20s. I heard the number 23 to be exact. I'm hearing she's a mother of two children. I'm getting J. Cole's song, Don't Save Her, She Don't Want to Be Saved. You and um, the third party are very different from each other. Very, very different. Like, 
just two different mentalities, perspectives, like you're more mature, more evolved, where, you know, the third party is young, you know, and very young minded. Okay, Divine Feminine, let's move on. Spirit, give me another message for attraction. Okay, too many cards. Give me, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so I have, <laughs> I can't make this up. Knight of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you have healed from this betrayal because this person definitely got around. Yeah, they did their dirt. Let's get a message for truth is. What's the truth? The truth set you free. That's what happened. <laughs> That's the truth. The truth is that you're finally free. You don't moved on. <laughs> you left. That's the truth. Spirit, give me a message for the fool. Seven of Wands. And you ain't taking this person back. You guarded. They can't come back. You're done. You're done for good, Divine Feminine. Let's get a message for dating. Oh, okay. Oh, I have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. I heard option. Give me a message for this for this Ace of Cups in the reverse. Somebody's not open. What do I have? Huh. Yeah. Seven of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Somebody's not open to being in a new relationship. Somebody's not going to be open to dating. Um, somebody just works. That's it. Somebody just want to work. Work their life away. I heard rejection. I feel like somebody's going to reject a love offer. Spirit, tell me about the Seven of Swords. Two of Cups. Yeah, but somebody, this person, somebody's hiding how they truly feel. Somebody is using work, their job, to detach from their emotions. Somebody's hiding how they feel. Somebody's disconnecting through work. Give me a message for the Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> temperance yeah yep somebody's trying to hold back like somebody's literally trying to temper themselves they're trying to hold themselves back through work spirit give me a message for the four of wands because they know that they can have stability they know they met their person or you know you met your person and you're using work to not deal come on knight of cups the offer of a lifetime. This is the offer of a lifetime, but somebody's holding themselves back and using work to do so. Somebody don't want to be connected to their emotions. Somebody's scared of love, scared of commitment. They're holding back. Fear of being in a relationship. Fear of being rejected. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Fear of being disappointed. Let's get a message for Twin Flame. Okay, what do I have? Oh, it ain't work. It ain't work at all. It ain't work. Somebody received some karma. That's why they want to come back and balance things, things out with you. They got some act right. Spirit, tell me about judgment in the reverse.
Oh, uh, oh, I can make this. Come on. Three of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. Somebody got karma. Somebody received karma. Mm. So this person who had you in a third party, like with this Three of Pentacles, somebody put them in a third party. It was a three-way. Spirit, tell me about this Three of Pentacles. Yep. A lot of drama and competition. Yeah, this person definitely got karma. They were involved in the third party. They had a lot of people fighting over them. It was just a lot of chaos and confusion. And they had to get away. They definitely got their just do in the situation. That's why they want to come back and balance things out. You know, when God delivered that spanking, that's it. It's done. Ain't nothing else to say. You either going to change or you're going to get left behind. And for some of you, this person is accepting the change, accepting the transformation because what they went through was crazy. <laughs> they was dealing with some crazy females or some crazy males. Tell me about healing. That'll stalk you. I have the four of cups in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, you're going to accept this person back. You're going to accept this person back. Yes, you are. Don't lie. Don't lie, Divine Feminine. You know you love this person. I heard back and forth. For some of you, you have a back and forth relationship with this person. Don't lie. Be honest. Let the truth set you free. And then I had the four of pentacles in reverse. Come on, you're going to give to this. You want to accept this person back? Don't be ashamed. We all don't been there. Don't be ashamed. Spirit, give me a message for karmic partner. Especially if the person changed and they show you that they changed, you know. <sighs> Ain't no need to hold on to grudges or hold on to the past. You know, everybody can change. Shoot. I've changed. You've changed, Divine Feminine. You ain't the same person. For better or for worse, you're not the same person. People change. That's a part of our growth. Change is necessary. It's a part of life. Spirit, tell me about karmic partner. What's this? Ooh. Yeah. The devil. And it fell off. Somebody ain't want, ain't want to be called out. The devil. Yeah, this person took you through it. They were just real low vibrational. For some of you, you was with this person for at least 10 years. Yeah. This person engaged. I heard substance misuse. Um, I heard threatening. For some of you, this could have been a DV relationship. But yeah, this person was very controlling and manipulative. But it's like everything that this person tried to use against you, how this person tried to break you, you took that energy and you converted it into something positive for yourself divine feminine and you built yourself up and you went and built your business and you went and healed and now you better than ever so this person couldn't break you they wanted to though they tried their best i heard almost but they didn't you still stood strong so this relationship what this person did to you is a part of your testimony this is somebody's testimony, a relationship, a toxic connection that they've been in. This is a part of your testimony. And Spirit says, tell it. Tell your testimony so that you can teach others, show others that they can heal too. They don't have to be stuck and that they don't have to stay in a broken place. Even after the relationship is over, they can build themselves up better than ever. Spirit, tell me about hurting. Huh. King of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. Somebody's disappointed. Somebody's in their feelings. King of Cups, somebody was emotionally unavailable. Yeah, I feel like this Queen of Wands energy. Um, oh wow, yes, this Queen of Pentacles is meant to help this Queen of Wands in the reverse heal. 
I'm going to say that again. This Queen of Pentacles is meant to help this Queen of Wands heal. You're meant to mentor somebody. And you know it. I heard calling. This is part of your calling. You already know this person. See, this person don't been battered as well, abused as well, been rejected, been in relationships with people who wasn't emotionally available. See, this person is hurting. That's why this person acts out. That's why this person doesn't mind hurting other people because hurt people hurt people. Because this Queen of Wands in reverse is hurting. She don't been rejected. You meant to help her. Mm. I heard sister love. Spirit, give me a message for a boss. <laughs> Justice in the reverse. This queen of wands receiving karma. Most definitely. Things aren't working out. She have potential. She has potential. But things aren't working out for her. She miserable. She's miserable in her own life, her own skin. I heard break free, but you're meant to help her break free. You know who this person is. For some of you, you work with this person. I heard office politics. You hear the gossip around the office. You know God been pulling you towards this person. You know divine feminine. Yeah, this your assignment. This is your assignment. I heard your next assignment. Let's get a message for shh. Keep it a secret. Spirit, tell me about shh. <laughs> what do I have? The nine of wands. Yeah, somebody's been trying to withhold this secret, but it ain't going to work. Like, it's coming out anyway. It's coming out anyway. Also, somebody been trying to keep a secret that they, like, been in jail, been in prison. They got a criminal record. That's coming out. Yeah, all of that's coming out. Everything coming out. Tell me more. Oh, okay. The Five of Pentacles and the Emperor. You know what I got? Somebody lost their job. Somebody went to jail and ended up losing a job. Yeah. Yep. For some of you, there's somebody that you have a child with. But I'm definitely getting like a boss or supervisor with this Emperor card. Somebody ended up losing a job. Some information came out and they ended up losing a job. Mm. Let's clarify. Spirit, give me a message for this emperor. Yeah, the star. Somebody couldn't leave the ladies alone. Somebody couldn't leave the ladies alone. Somebody, you know, would get a thrill off of the women. Yeah, and then I have the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody felt rejected because an emperor or somebody who had boss status was attracted to somebody else. And this person felt hurt. So the person that they hurt caused them to miss out on the opportunity, either with this star, Aquarius energy, or when it comes to their job, their career, missing out on the opportunity or losing their job. Yeah, somebody said, you playing checkers, but I play chess. So somebody made a chess move and caused this emperor to miss out. Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles. What do I have? The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, it affected some. They affected somebody's stability. Somebody's stability was affected because they were attracted to somebody else, was in love with somebody else, and the other person was mad, was jealous, was in his or her feelings, and it caused them to miss out on the opportunity. They affected this person's finances, or this is what they're trying to do. They're trying to create an imbalance in this person's life. 
So this could either be you or this is being done to you. I'm also getting this somebody you know. So you're just on the outside looking in. Somebody that you work with or used to work with. All right, Divine Feminine, let's pull some final messages. Spirit, give me some messages for the Divine Feminine. Give me some messages for the Divine Feminine closing messages. What do I have? I can't make it. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Yes, somebody reconciling. Yes. I heard let's stay together. Somebody getting back together. Somebody's getting back together. I have give your relationship a chance. Work on this partnership. Okay. Divine Feminine, you coming back together with this person. You ain't got to lie. You ain't got to front. I understand. Believe me. And then I have playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to of fun to shine. You know what? When you get back with this person, right, it's going to be different because this person is in a different energy. So I feel like this time you're going to actually have fun together. You're going to enjoy being together, Divine Feminine. So these are your love messages. I hope they resonate. Literally, somebody's on the outside looking in. This happened to somebody. They got caught up. This person just got caught up. Maybe this would be, I heard a testimony. Maybe this would be this person's testimony. I'm also getting a brother. For some of you, this could have happened to your brother. This whole situation getting caught up between two feminines. So... I don't know where I left off at, but stay true to thyself, real with thyself, grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed. Hello, Divine Feminine. Welcome to the career portion of your reading. So let's go ahead and pull some messages. So Spirit, give me some messages for the Divine Feminine. What is going on in their career? Career messages for the Divine Feminine. What's going on? Oh, okay. So I have stuck in the past. For some of you, I heard like reminiscing. When I reminisce over you by Mary J. Blige, you may be thinking about um, a job that you had in the past. Something that um, was a pastime to you, an activity that you like to do. Yeah, I have manifest. So I feel like there's something that you've been wanting to do for a very long time. And it's like you finally have the courage to do it. For some of you, this is like you starting your own business, working for yourself. Um, I have obsession. Someone is obsessed with you, but it's in the reverse. Um... I feel like you're learning how to let go and how not to be so much in in control. Um, you're just going with the flow. And then I have romantic thoughts, having romantic thoughts about you. Because whatever this is, this business, this opportunity, is definitely something for some of you that you've always wanted to do. It brings you a lot of fulfillment. I'm getting like nine of cups energy with this romantic thoughts. Yeah, so it definitely makes you happy. Let's clarify. Spirit clarify stuck in the past for the Divine Feminine. Yep, I have the King of Cups. Like, this is like a pastime. Um, it's just something you've always wanted to do. Something that you did that was very fun. Um, I heard like ease. It came very easy to you. Um, you would do this to relax for some of you. But you recognize how much you enjoy it and wanted to turn it into something lucrative. This brings you a lot of joy. Spirit, give me another message for King of Cups. Yeah, the Ten of Swords, everything is fine. So I feel like um, for some of you, you may have been like stuck, you know, working like a traditional job, nine to five. Like it's just something that kept you away from doing something that you truly love. And for a lot of you, you know, you have to pay the bills. So it's kind of like, you know, you can't focus on what it is that you enjoy doing because, you know, the bills got to be paid. Lights have to be kept on. So it's like, well, this everything is fine. Like everything was not fine. Um, you felt very stuck. 
you felt like you couldn't move forward with something that you actually love something that really spoke to your heart your spirit tell me about this king of cups i have the two of swords so you had to make a decision on whether or not you're going to move forward with this project, this creative idea, this business. For some of you, um, this is what you're currently doing, trying to make a decision on what it is, you know, that you're going to do, which direction you're going to move in. And then I have the five of pentacles. Yeah, you're going to have to take a financial loss. Yes. Um, you may not be able to spend as you normally would. I have temperance, but things are going to balance out for you. I'm getting the song by um, Betty Wright, No Pain, No Gain. You know, if you want something in life, and at the bottom of the deck, I have justice. Yeah, you're going to get what you want in the end. Like, things are going to balance out. But in order to get something, you have to give something. And it may be a period um, that you have to, you know, struggle a little bit. You know, you have to make sacrifices. I feel like for some of you, the reason why you continue to hold on to a particular job or career is because, like, you don't want to struggle. Like, you know, you don't want to miss out when it comes to money. Um, you don't want to go through the storm. But it's like, if you want this to prosper, if you want this job, this career, this, you know, business, whatever it is for you, you're going to have to sacrifice, manifest, but you're going to be successful. For some of you, you may do something online and you're sacrificing when it comes to your time. But it's like you're willing. Just tell me more about the Six of Wands. Like you have to be willing to make it happen. Spirit, tell me about the Six of Wands. The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, your investment is going to pay off, Divine Feminine. Whatever you're investing into, it's going to pay off. Yeah, you may have had the struggle. You may have had to take a hit. You may have had to go through a season of lack. But it's like the sacrifice is paying off. You're seeing the fruits of your labor. All of your hard work. All of your dedication. You are manifesting happiness. You are manifesting prosperity. Let's get a message for obsession in the reverse. And you're definitely learning how to let go, how not to be in control. Just, you know, go with the flow of the wind. Trust God. Trust the process. Spirit, tell me about obsession. <laughs> I can't make this up. I cannot. Eight of Swords. Yeah, because some of you was like so stuck in your head. Like you... <laughs> It's kind of like sitting there every day, 24-7, and like watching your money grow. Like every second, like just literally watching your money grow. Like if you have a savings account and you like get interest on that account, literally sitting there and just watching the interest grow. Instead of walking away and just trusting that it is growing, it is doing what it's supposed to do. You had to learn how to relinquish that. For some of you, um, I'm with this Eight of Swords, I'm getting like it was a real struggle. It was a real struggle. At the end, at the bottom of the deck, I have the Three of Wands in the reverse. But yeah, you learn how to kind of just walk away and have faith in what it is that you're doing. Not to just sit there and watch and not to obsess over it, not to constantly think about it. Spirit, give me a message for romantic thoughts. The high priestess in the reverse. I'm getting like this high priestess is somebody else's energy. I feel like people are thinking like you're not making a good decision. Like this might not be a good investment. There's some doubters and some haters, Divine Feminine. Yeah, I heard on your team, you got some doubters and some haters. And then I have the King of Swords. Yeah, you're going to have to cut some people out of your life. Because they doubt you. They don't have faith in you. And it's creating, you know, doubt within yourself. Like you're starting to doubt yourself, question yourself because of what people are telling you, what people are trying to get you to believe. But this is where your heart is. This is where your happiness is. So it's like change with the butterflies. You're going to have to change your surroundings, change the people that you hang around with, change, you know, who you tell your business to. For some of you, I heard solitude. You're going to be placed in a season where you go into solitude, where you just want to be by yourself 
yourself. And God is doing this for a reason so that you can be focused. And then I have the nine of swords and the magician. Yes, you're going to have to be focused. For some of you with this nine of swords, it's going to be difficult for you to, to walk away from certain relationships. Walk away from that job, but you have to trust in what it is that you're manifesting for yourself. You have to step into your power. I'm getting a wonderful change has come over me. Yeah, this is you assuming authority and saying that I believe in myself. I believe in me. I create the life that I want. For some of you, like the people around you. The fact that you're taking back your power, the fact that you're building, you're growing, you're planting seeds, you're starting to see success and growth, they're going to be stressed out and worried. I heard leaving them behind. For some of you, people are going to be fearful because you are they know you're going to leave them behind. Everybody can't go. It's like as you grow, it's like your friend circle is going to get smaller and smaller. And people are going to be worried about this. For others of you, people are going to be worried about the fact that you are successful. Jealous of your success because they was praying for your downfall. They didn't want you to make it. People are upset because you're finally in your power. They can't talk to you the way they used to. They can't put that doubt, that same fear in you. Because now you recognize who you are. you definitely going to make some people mad and upset. Because they want to be you. Or they want you to be stuck in the same situation they are. They don't want you to grow. Tell me more about this Nine of Swords. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. Your success is going to make your haters mad. Oh, yes. Your success, your abundance is going to make people mad, upset. It's like they ain't going to even be able to stand. You can't watch you. They might not even want to speak to you. They're going to be upset because this wasn't supposed to happen, Divine Feminine. You're supposed to be stuck just like they stuck. You're supposed to have the same mindset they do. You're not supposed to make it. You're not supposed to prevail. But little do they know, see, that's not God's destiny for you. You're meant to have more. Creating generational wealth. Creating abundance. I have the eight of wands at the bottom. A lot of you, you're going to be hearing good news when it comes to your money. For some of you, you're going to be receiving a payout. I'm getting inheritance. Divine family, just get ready. Things are getting ready to take off. And for some of you, this is going to accelerate very fast for you. And people ain't going to like it. Because you sacrificed, you did the work. You trusted yourself. You stopped trying to control the narrative. And you just kept your faith in God. Now look at you, sitting on your throne. I have a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. Okay, divine feminine. For some of you, I feel like you're going to meet someone at work or someone who um does, I heard like a niche, similar niche. So you're going to meet someone who does the same thing you do or you know work in the same field or industry but you're going to meet somebody who's very like-minded i feel like you and this person are going to go grow together i'm getting um spiritual practitioners so this person you know may be into spirituality just as you are let's pull another message come on i can't make it up hold your vision fix moon yep don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up on God and he won't give up on you. He's able. Hold your vision. Don't let people knock you off course. Stay fixed. Stay planted in what it is that you desire. Because, you know, people just don't want to see you happy. don't want to see you make it because they're not happy. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have, look at the bigger picture, full moon and Sagittarius. Yes. Look at the big picture. There's more to the eye. There's more to this whole situation than you're actually seeing. 
there's a greater purpose, a greater plan for you, divine feminine. And I heard reach it. Spirit says, and you're going to reach it. But it's all a process. So divine feminine, these are your career messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.